In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive the iconic LNER Class A3 steam locomotive number 60103, better known as Flying Scotsman. During this brief introduction, you'll be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready, climb onto the footplate. Take a seat at the driver's position so that we can prepare this locomotive for operation. For this introduction, you'll be completing a full loop of the circuit and performing passenger operations when you reach the next stop. Let's prepare this locomotive for departure. Open the cylinder clocks to remove any water from the cylinders after the locomotive has been left standing. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive as it does not compress like steam. The reverser determines the direction of travel and how much steam is consumed as the locomotive moves. Move the reverser into the full forward position. This ensures that you'll get the maximum amount of power to get the train moving. As you pick up speed, you'll need to move the reverser to reduce cutoff. This will also aid in steam efficiency. To begin loading passengers, you will need to open the passenger doors. It's time to depart. Close the passenger doors. Unlike other steam locomotives you may have operated, this locomotive has had its vacuum brakes upgraded to air brakes. The locomotive brake applies braking force on just the locomotive, whereas the train brake applies it to the entire formation. As this train has air brake equipped coaches, we'll be using the train brake. The regulator acts like the throttle for steam locomotives. It controls how much steam is delivered into the cylinders. Slowly open the regulator to apply some power. Remember that power delivery is delayed in a steam locomotive and applying too much power too early can cause wheel slip.
later, along with all but one of the other A1 locomotives, the upgraded and modified Eagle A3. In 1924, this locomotive was chosen as a flagship example of the British Empire Exhibition, where it was given the number 4472, and its now famous name, after the Black Scotsman Express service between Edinburgh and London. In 1934, Black Scotsman was recorded at 100 miles per hour on a special test flight. Now that the train has stopped, you can open the passenger doors. Good work. 
That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive.